So I said to myself that I'm not into movie figures. I said that I'm not going to buy them. I said I'm definitely not going to buy any for £22.50 because that's a joke for a deluxe. <sighs> I kind of went there. So I picked up a last night barricade. Um, a combination of the reviews I've seen on the internet. The fact I really like this character from the uh, from the other movies he was in. And also, I was in Asda, and they were there, and I got that buzz that all Transformers fans get when they see a toy that they've never seen before. It's something different to the Titans Return, which is kind of maybe going down a little bit of the Combiner Wars route now, where there's a lot of repaints, and it was so exciting to see something different. So here's the packaging. You can see Barricade here. His image runs around the corner. You've got Transformers down the side. Premier Edition at the top. Don't know what that means, but it's a bit odd to have a deluxe in a box, uh, which might actually add to the cost of why these are so much. But Transformers down the side. You've got another image of Barricade on the side here. Some warnings and stuff at the bottom. A picture of Megatron, Berserker and... Barricade there, and on the back you've got a picture of Barricade pulling a pose. Uh, you've got um, Barricade in his alt mode here, 11 steps to transform, and you've got Bumblebee, which is awful, really, really horrible, cheap and nasty looking. Don't buy him unless you're a Bumblebee fan and really, really want him. And Berserker, so let's cover some articulation first. His head can go side to side. About 180 degrees, just under it, can't do a full 360. His arms can do a full rotation. There's also some um, articulation on this part due to the transformation. You've got a bend at the elbow. You've got a wrist swivel. You've got a legs can go forward and they can go back, but they're stopped by this kibble on the back, which I'll get to in a moment. The knees can bend. Again, stopped by the kibble on the back. You can move forward. There is an ankle tilt forward and back, but not side to side. There's not a rocker on there. Oh, and just for uh, wildness, there is a hip swivel and an elbow swivel. I remembered to do it this time, mate. So I have to say there is some beautiful paintwork on this. You've got four eyes here. I don't know if you can see, but you've got a Decepticon logo on the head. Um, you've got some red and blue detail in here as like kind of sirens. You've got some silvery blue headlights here. You've got some more white paint on the knees. Um, and probably my favourite piece of detail, I'll try and get this in for you. It says serve on this one and protect on this one, which is a pretty nice touch. I love those knuckle dusters. So Barricade comes with a few weapons. He comes with a nightstick in a beigey type colour, which is a bit random. He comes with a Robocop-esque pistol. And he comes with this, this shotgun ring, um, which is, again, beige, but a pretty cool concept. So what you can do with a shotgun ring is you need to open it out. And there's some holes and tabs underneath here. You slide those tabs into there and you wrap the shotgun around the wrist, which again, pretty cool, makes that circle. You can hold the baton like that, or you can hold it underhand like that. You can't really hold it that way because it just tends to, to fall out though, which is a bit odd really. Or instead, you can have him holding his pistol, which again is pretty cool. And with the baton and the pistol, you can actually store them on either side of his legs, which from a weapons point of view is pretty good. Um, almost like holsters. Now, I mentioned a little bit about this unsightly back kibble, and there is a fan mode. I'm not going to take credit for it in its part, um, but I have like to think I've added to it a little bit. You can actually... This is on kind of a friction joint here, and sometimes during transformation it does pop off anyway, but you can gently knock that out of joint and remove the back kibble, which makes his back a lot cleaner, actually helps with that leg articulation as well. 
Now, what I heard is that some people were using this as a riot shield, and what they were doing is kind of wrapping these doors around the arm in order to make it hold in place, which I really couldn't get to do. But what I did notice is that if you take the nightstick, you pop it in Barricade's hand, upside down like so, like that and what you can do then is flip this on its back and you'll see there's a little tab in there if you can tab the nightstick into that little gap there creating barricade with a riot shield that pretty much not shaking it too much here holds in place and i think that look for him is absolutely fantastic and here he is in his fantastic alt mode. Uh, you can see here there's some paintwork on the headlights. You've got some sirens here um, painted on. These are actually the chest part of the robot. You've got sirens at the top. You've got this lovely navy blue colour with a black bonnet. More paint on the back. So you've got some great paintwork here with the Decepticon logo and the police wording across the door on both sides. You've also got to punish and enslave on both sides over the rear wheel arches, which is pretty good. Um, no paintwork on the wheels. They do spin and he does roll. You'll have to take my word for that. And also, he's a little bit of a shell former. So you can see Barricade underneath his arms. You can see his legs. Um, you can see his head. But you can also see here there's some weapon storage for his baton and for his pistol. And what you can also do is take his Gatling gun, shotgun Gatling gun thing, you can twist it apart, and you can tab it in the back here to make a kind of assault mode, which is pretty cool. So all in all, do I recommend Barricade here? It's a big yes for me. Um, I think, if nothing else, this figure gives us hope for the, uh, for the movie line. After being kind of burnt by Age of Extinction bots, I kind of promised myself I wouldn't step back into the movie verse. But Barricade is one fantastic reason why we need to give movie bots another chance. Um, back in Revenge of the Fallen or even the first movie days, even some of the Dark of the Moon figures, there were some fantastic toys in there, even though they were a little bit complicated. This guy is the right balance of fun, intuitive transformation, poseability, beautiful aesthetics, and accessories galore. There's so many options with him. I give him a, I give him a strong eight out of ten. He's one of the most exciting bots I've picked up this year, and one that I've played with probably more than any other in in such a short space of time. There are some movie bots I will be stepping into, I think. Uh, I've already picked up some of them, uh, which I will do another review on. Um, but all in all, even if we don't get anything else this quality from this line, Barricade is a fantastic, fantastic bot. And even though he's a lot more than we'd like to pay, you know what? I've paid a lot more for robots that aren't this good. I've been Zork Rider. Hope you've enjoyed the video.